I'm so trying to not yawn right now. Well, good. You know what helps you not yawn? What? Stuffing your face with delicious goodies from around the world. Ooh. More specifically, one group of lots of islands. Hawaii. No, very few islands compared to Bora the Bora. Also like one or two. <laughs> I think there's Bora and Bora. That's literally two islands next to each other. Is there really? I don't know, but oh, it'd be okay. funny. Yeah, it'd be real we're... funny. Otherwise it'd be like Bora Bora and Bora. Yeah, triple Bora. Bora the Exploradora. <laughs> Not in this house, we're taking a trip to Japan. That's we are right. taking a trip to Japan. With a taste buds. <laughs> Fun fact, did you know? Yes. How many islands do you think Japan has? Dude, I was gonna say like four, five. Bro, you are not even remotely close. 10. Way higher. Like take one of the biggest, most ridiculous leaps you can think of. 128. 6,800. No. There are over 6,800 islands in Japan. No way. Yeah. I How? found it on multiple websites. Substantiation. <laughs> That does not make any sense. I don't, there, I think there's just a bunch of like little tiny islands just bloop, 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 plopping all over the place. Japan has the most vending machines in the world. That I can see because I've seen videos of like the craziest of crazy vending machines ever in Japan. They're the most advanced nation in the world when it comes to robotics. Okay. And they are in fact building a giant manned piloted walking robot as we speak. But it can't walk. Not yet. They haven't tested it. It's still being built. Okay. Bro, if anyone can do it, it's it's freaking Japan. How dope would it be to be sitting inside your giant robot <laughs> and you're like, tree, get out the way. You just like bee slap the tree out of its root system. <laughs> well, I mean, I still want to be environmentally friendly. Well, of course, I could replant it because I'm a freaking giant robot. We'll just take up a tree excavation. Uh, business and uh, move your trees for you. <laughs> or demolition. Done. Boom! Dude, freaking. Oh! <laughs> you imagine we go in with our robots, we high five, and then we just start punching down the buildings. <laughs> you just take down the left oh. tower, I take down the right. Yes! We circle around to the middle and body slam the building. Oh, that'd be dope. All right, well, we're not trying that today, but what we are trying are delicious treats from Japan. That's right. Everyone knows they have fantastic treats. Beautiful artwork, fun animation. I just want to go there I so just, bad. Me too. All right, first thing on the list. I'm not going to be able to read it, so here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, fishy, so cool. This is a Puka Puka Taiyaki mint treat. Huh, Puka Puka Taiyaki. Why is it upside down on the back? I, I apologize in advance if I if I say anything incorrectly. Puka Puka Taiyaki. I just feel like it's very streamlined. See, it makes sense with how it's read because again, they read top down, right to left. All right, well, let's try this bad boy. I'm not gonna be able to read any of this. It says so cool on the front. So cool. Like you and me. Yeah. Ooh. You smell nice. Oh, look at it. It looks just like the picture, except it's- It really does. We'll smell it. Oh, that smells delightful. Right? Something yummy. It better be. All right, you want the head or the tail? I'll take the face. All right. Whoa, it, it looks, looks like, like the chocolate. on the inside. It looks like the chocolate we've been eating, that, like that airy. airy chocolate. What is happening in my mouth? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like we're eating air. Like if air had a consistency and you could bite air, I feel like that's what it would be. It like disintegrates almost it instantly. It does. What the devil? I'm trying to make sense of it. It doesn't make any sense. No kind of like family. the consistency of a wafer, but the minute you bite it, it disappears. It tastes like somebody is blowing minty breath into your mouth while you're trying to eat. That is exactly That's exactly it. what it is. Yeah, so if you just have someone in your family- You're like crunching something. Some ice. Blowing minty ice into your mouth while you're crunching on a wafer. Weird. That is weird. I like it. That is wild. Oh man, let's go on another adventure. What's next? Nikes? So this Mikey's. is Shoyu Butter Popcorn. Mike. Delicious popcorn with the umami mix of butter and shoyu, which is soy sauce. Umami? So umami. Butter and soy sauce Ooh, flavored mommy. popcorn. Umami. Smell it. <laughs> It smells like <sighs> they shipped us feet. That's hilarious. Japanese feet. Okay. Ready! 
I took one. I took one. Not gonna lie, I had me in the first bite. Like for a slight second. Hold your thoughts. I still got some of that icebreaker breath going on. <laughs> this is like on the complete opposite end of the spectrum here. This is like going from sweet minty gum to like coffee and onions. It's almost like cheesy. The thing with popcorn, you need to kind of like munch on it to get its real flavor settled in, get a good synopsis of it. Need some cheese. It's not terrible. Hey, that's okay. The first few bites put you through the ringer. Good do... consistency though, I will say. There's a lot of like bag popcorn I don't like because of how like chewy like, okay. the popcorn pieces it's get. It's like almost stale. like a packing, packing peanut. Yeah. They get stale. I don't like that. This isn't bad. A tin of popcorn. I would not advise this for a date night. I can leave it. It's not something I'm gonna like gravitate to. But if there's nothing else in the pantry, I might eat it if I'm really hungry. Mm. I'm gonna pass on this. Pass it away. Poiful. This is Poiful Drink Mix. These jelly bean looking candies are a bit chewier than you might expect. This batch is flavored like Japanese drinks, such as cola, cider, white soda, and lemon squash. You did okay. say you were thirsty! I did. You read my mind. Show the children. My brain ain't working today, guys. Unwrapper things! <laughs> Unwrapper things! What are these things called? Ta pull tab? I guess. <laughs> no, they're called unwrapper things. Duh, I had to quiz you. Oh, <laughs> here's some of that Japanese engineering. Wow, that was Where they a trip. make the simplest things just a little bit so, better. So, here's how it opens. That's it. And then you got your little pouring. Genius! Stuff. Then you don't have the stupid flaps. Oh. Convenient. Ooh. Here they are. Cheers! Kanpai! Oh, oh God, you... Lost it. My right. kanpai was a little too strong. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Kanpai! That was not that great. What flavor is that? It tastes like you're drinking Sprite out of a cup you didn't rinse well enough after you washed it with soap. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly it. It tastes like Sprite and detergent. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is 100% accurate. <laughs> that is probably the most accurate I've ever tasted. Yeah, that was wild. There you go, Jelly Belly. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow to yellow. Mm. I mean, that one tasted really average. Yeah, that white one was the best so far. Yeah, the white one was way good. That one had a little bit of like a citrusy blend, kind of like what you taste in a margarita. All right, brown cola. Brownie. This one's my favorite. You don't even know. I love cola flavored candies. I don't like cola flavored candies. Are you mental? What is wrong? Who hurt you? It tastes like flat Coke. Who hurt you? Coca-Cola did, okay. Mmm. Those are pretty good though. Those are. Oh, yeah, I could still eat that. I don't like the, the green ones, but you can take it or leave it. I'll take it. I'll That's take fun it to munch too. on. This would be fun for a movie. This is great. Makes me feel so poiful. Yeah. Full of poi. Okay, next one. Oh! Ooh. Cola Up. This is basically just a gummy version of a cola drink. Woo! I love cola gummies. I love the like advertising. Right? It's so interesting. I love like the little things, little people they little make. guys, yeah. What is this? Wow, that's really neat. Look at this. Whoop. Ha! There's three sizes. That's awesome. What? That is so cool. You have bottles and you have cans. Yeah. Oh, now here we go. Come by. Come by. Come by. I gotta say, this right here, this is why all those Japanese people are so skinny. From eating You put more work into eating this candy than you are getting out of it. <laughs> well, look at this, you're struggling. Burning more cake cows trying to get it out of the package than it has. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I wish you could bite the edge of it and like drink the inside. Right? Of it. Oh, that's good. That's good. I love cola flavored gummies. What's next? Oh, what's this? This one Lemon is... Lemon heads. Bonten Ame. I don't know if I said that no. right. It's Bonten a, Ame. It's, it's a traditional Japanese candy. Um, it has a lemon orange flavor with an outer layer of rice paper you can eat. Ooh, an outer layer of rice paper. That's unique. Rice Ooh, paper. it opens like a matchbox set. What? Keep going. Ooh. Oh, wait, so you just... There's nothing to unwrap? You just eat it? This 
feels wrong. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kanpai. This feels so wrong. I feel like it has. That can't be edible. Well, hold on now. It shouldn't be. Is it disintegrating? It just popped in my mouth. It's disintegrating. It's not good. You know, the flavoring of this is so bland that all you really taste is... The wrapper. Wrapper. <laughs> the wafer-thin wrapping that melts in your mouth is made from starch. So you can pop the whole candy into your mouth. Then why even put a wrapper on it? <laughs> What's the point? They're just flexing now. This is it point. a wrapper or is it part of the candy? What is it? <laughs> and, ass. You know what? It's not even worth it at this mm -hmm. point. Get it out of here. The flavoring is so light that I feel like I'm, if I were cleaning my bathtub with a lemony scented cleanser, some of it got in my mouth, that's kind of how it tastes. Mm -hmm. That's about it. A pass. Ooh. What is this? I touch it. I know. <laughs> you were like a cat. <laughs> they always like. <laughs> Chocolate bar, simple little chocolate treat. Oh, that's it? Yeah, I never think of Japan when you think of chocolate. Never. Which, you know what I mean? Which really sets the bar really right? low. Right? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like when they, you think of chocolate, I think of Central Europe. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. This chocolate on my radar is lower than America's. Oh, America's chocolate is great. Uh, I wouldn't say great. I'd say average. I'd say America, but see, that's the thing is we're so used to it, it seems average. But I, I think. I mean, this looks like bottom from of the, the dumpster cho chocolate. I think America, <laughs> it does. I think American chocolate is great, and like European chocolate is excellent. And this is. This looks like. All right. Barely chocolate. Oh it does look like. A, it does look like a Kit Kat. So, my, I mean, my hopes aren't crushed yet. I mean, it looks like it was left in the car. It does. And then put in the freezer. It's a Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like Kit Kats in general are the surprise chocolate that always like, it's never in your top three, so you never grab it at like a kiosk as you're checking out. There are days. But when you get it at like a workplace environment, when they have them in the little like free jars of candy, you grab one and you're like, that's a delightful treat. You're like, it's always flying under like, the radar. I do like Kit Kats. That? When it comes to Kit Kat, that's a disappointment. It's not, like Kit Kats are way better. So are you gonna take it or leave it? I mean, I would take it before a couple of the other things we've had. Actually, just before the weird lemony crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really not that great. Let's see it. We have melon pan, and it's called this way because of its shape, not because of the flavor. They're just delicious, slightly dry buns with a crispy sugar crust. I got excited because this looks like mango fruit. Like, oh, mm, you cut it. Delightful. I don't know. It kind of hit the nostrils funny. It's like citrusy. Oh, yeah. Here you are. And here's what it looks like. It doesn't look anything like the packaging. I mean, it kind of. Oh, on the lighting it does. But it's not that pronounced when you're looking at it flat. Gotta say, I'm not a, not a fan of the flavor. Right, it's got a melony zest to it. Mm -hmm. Combined with the shortbread though, I don't know if that's a winning combination. It's a unique flavor. I'll give it that. It's not bad. It's all right. It's okay. It's unique. It, t it tickles the taste buds a little mm -hmm. bit. I mean, it'll get you there. I'll give it a pass, a slight pass. <clears throat> okay, now here's where the party starts. We think. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. This looks awesome. Looks like sweet tarts. This is juicy fruit color balls. They're juicy Original. and colorful. It's fun to shake them around and eat them one at a time. Juicy balls. Uh, fruit flavored color balls. <laughs> Here, look, it's fun to shake them around. Oh, how fun that seems. <laughs> what color are you going with? Pink. You're not even waiting. I'm going with light red. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'm turning Japanese. That's what I've been waiting for. Wow. Ooh. Wow, Becky. Oh, those are deep. These are good. The deep flavor that beckons to you know get to know it better. Yeah. Okay, orangey. so these like pop in your mouth. They do. But they're like. Poof, they're not tart like an actual sweet tart. They're not chewy at all either. Yeah, they just like. It's kind of like the mint, just like whispers to your tongue and then mm. disappears. Oh, I don't even know what flavor I'd say. Green? Ooh, mm -hmm. melon. I like the green Ooh, that one's good. How are they? Delicious. Are you gonna keep or pass? 
Cape. I mean, those are good. They are very good. The last two flavors kind of fell flat. They've got those fruity flavors you need. They're really good. I really like them. Next! Ooh, it's got a little penguin on it. And this oh, is cool. Look at him. He's all like boxy, like a jam. So this guy is definitely going to be minty. Yes. Too cool for school. That is right. Ice Ramune is the usual treat, but this one will cool your mouth down a bit. Ooh, all right. Okay. Looks like somebody took some chalk and just chopped it into little pieces. I hate Altoids for that exact reason. This is the same. Do you buy that? That's yummy. <laughs> What the heck is going on? It's disintegrating. It's disintegrating really quickly, but it's also it's got that minty flavor, but it's not overpowering. And it's, it's like a cool candy mint, not a like mint mint. Yeah, that's not bad. It disintegrates real fast. It looks just like your ordinary little mint. Do you bite it? It like just turns to powder, powder and then just goes away. Oh, I hate that texture. I feel like I just bit I the chalk. Oh man, that just hit all my nerves. That's good though. I like this. this did is you weird. bite it? Yeah, I did. And you liked it? Well, I like sweet tarts. That does not have a sweet tart texture. Sweet How tart turns to like a powder. Yeah, but if that had like, oh, uh, it had the like chalk sensation. Huh. I don't mind it all. Keep it. Ooh, hold up. Is this a little pastry? Now, is that mold? I gotta know. Cause it's been in our closet for quite some time. <laughs> this is Umi Sugar Senbei, a crispy rice cracker flavored with Japanese plum and covered with chunky granulated sugar. Huh, That's like, that looks like the giant salt you find on a pretzel. It really does. Now I gotta say, it does expire 19, 10, 12. So we're only overshooting expiration by like 10 months. It's more of a suggestion. Is it soft? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, it's just brown sugary stuff. Yummy. Okay, I was worried that was mold, but it's clearly like some sort of- Where do you see, where? Mm. That is crispy. Hope it's supposed to be crispy. Yeah, a crispy rice cracker. Tastes like somebody inflated a corn nut, dropped it in sugar, and then tried to eat it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. This is very- I'll break a tooth. This is very delightful. It's, I should have shown you before I broke it in half, but. I feel like it's slightly on the stale side. So for more fresh, it'd be even better. I gotta be honest. It does almost taste like just rice cakes. I am a fan. This has got to be up there. This has to be one of my favorites of the box so far. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's like unique enough and its own flavoring enough that it's like a really neat experience. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing like Not this bad. here. Everything else that we've eaten, there's something kind of sort of similar here. This is its own brand. This is awesome. Okay. Caprico. Line dog face ponies all <laughs> This is a Caprico Mini. It's an ice cream cone that never melts. This famous I, Japanese treat has been around forever because it's fun to eat and tastes great. Is this non-melting ice cream? Is that what I just heard? So it's not ice cream? <laughs> I'm so lost. Well, I beg to differ. That looks very melted. You liars. Get a little squished. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, what? Yeah, never I mean, the melted. actual picture is not even much better. Break in half. You want to put it out of its misery? Yeah, let's see if anything's in the middle. Do you think it's... I mean... What? Just the tarnation. <laughs> is it just chocolate in a little thing? Like I mean, it just looks like chocolate in a wafer. They're trying to market it as something. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> it's good. It is fun to eat. It is fluffy. I can see how they were like trying to mimic the ice cream, like fluffy and soot, like smooth flavor taste. But it's still just like a really airy chocolate. Yeah, in a wafer. that's all it is. Genius. That's all right. Party. Genius they're, I'm telling you, they're good at the marketing. Oh, what is this? So this is a Pokemon wafer. Oh, you don't say. Can you read it for me? It says Pokemon. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. It is Pokemon. A chocolate Pokemon snack with crispy wafers and a sweet taste. It comes with a collectible card inside. Ooh. Which Dibs. one did you catch? Dibs. 
Dibs. It goes in the studio. Dibs. It goes on the wall. Dibs. Wow, we got our. We're gonna have our first Pokemon card yeah. from Japan. Let's see. Is it foil? Ooh. Wait, wait. We gotta break bread first. Ah, heck, what it worth? Oh, it's it, foil. It's That's tiny. That's not what I expected. It's square. Let me see. What That's is dumb. We got number 22 of 24. Man, I was expecting like a full size. I feel like the back of it is a small piece of a bigger picture. Okay, you got your generic wafer with chocolate in the middle. It's, kind it's of not shaped like a Pokemon. What's the, what's the Pokemon about this? Just the fact that there's a little Pokemon card? That's it, man. That's all it is. It's general marketing, man. It's like mostly wafer. Yeah, it's mostly wafer, lightly chocolate. Disappointed! <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> Would you take a bite? The wafer has no taste. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I didn't even mean to drop it, but whatever. It's like trying to eat a chocolate bar with more steps. That thing was a pure gimmick for the Pokemon card, and we fell for it. Another delightful unpackaging. Oh, this I like the color. This is grape poochie gum. It's more fun than regular gum because it comes in lots of little pieces. And I the package is built for you to play with it. Play with what? it now. <gasps> Let me see. You're like, look, I got points. Five <laughs> points, 20 points, 10 points. I don't get it. Why is there a green one? Oh, that's the point. That's You're trying the to get one. the green one. Another cool little delivery system. Pop. Oh, I oh broke you it. broke it! There we go, I fixed it. There we go. So that, yeah. Look at that! Just some modern cardboard engineering. A little bit of fancy like cardboard. That. Oh, look, it's dual layer. Innovation. Hopefully, that gum tastes better than ours. What kind of grapes I got over there. There it is. Wait for it. It hits late. I can taste it now. That's nice. That's a good grape flavor. Mm. I'm assuming you take out all the bubble gum, put the green ones back in, and then you try and play the little game. Maybe. Play. You can see the holes down there in the back. Underwhelming. Is there like something else to it though? I don't know. Not that, oh great. Meh. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still gum, but it's got a cool delivery system and it tastes good. I take, I give it a pass. Carry on. What do you give it? Walk away. You're gonna leave pass. it? Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. You said pass. Are you Have I been doing it backwards the whole time? <laughs> what do you think pass means? Like I give it a pass? Oh, keep it. Keep it or pass it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Sorry. You just destroyed the entire rating system we built up this whole episode. Well, figure it Nothing out. Nothing means anything anymore. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Nobody knows if you want to keep it or keep it. <laughs> I do want to keep it. I, w I want to give it a pass as in you, you want to give it pass? a pass and keep it. That don't work. Like Into that. the VIP section. What is this? <laughs> These are vanilla cream cookies. They're a very popular cookie in Japan. They are sweet and crispy and so hard to stop eating. Okay. Is it Languly or has someone got a, a vendetta against Lang telling him he lies? <laughs> Lang, you lie. <laughs> Lang, quit your <laughs> lying. Okay, okay, let's see here. These are kind of oh, like those. You are wild. All right. <laughs> is it that Hillshire Farms, the one where the mom like hides it up in her like yeah, yeah, yeah. ceiling light? You know what I'm talking about. It's not Hillshire. Pepperidge Farms, remember? What did I say? Hillshire Farms or something? Oh, like that. That, they make the meats. They make beef stocks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'd hide that in my lamp. Here you go. You get your own little package. Look at this. Oh, that's cute. Convenient. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the cookies. These look fantastic. All right, like licking it. Oh yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Tastes like that vanilla vanilla wafer they put in shakes back in the day. Okay. It's good, but I would like more cream in it. I like it. I mean, I feel eat it. I mean, I think it's great personally. I don't think it needs more cream. It's a very light snack. Like it's just like, this would honestly go perfect with a lunch. Like you need a little bit of a treat, nothing too crazy sugar. I mean, maybe these have a lot of sugar. I don't know, but it tastes like it wouldn't. He's trying to break it open. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to get in the middle and double stuff them. Can't get it apart. Aww. <laughs> Aww. They've thwarted me. <laughs> They, they knew some kids are gonna be like, I'm gonna fix it. And then they're like, no, you're not. I'm gonna put it together and make a bigger one. 
I'll keep it. That's very good. Last but not least. Oh, and I am so excited. Is this like a high chew? It looks exactly like, looks like a high chew. chew. I saw that. And it's got my favorite flavor. Brisket. These are... Brisket? <laughs> what? That was a joke. These are Pucho, a soft candy with interesting textures. These Does it say interesting on there? It says on the description. <laughs> Weird. These ones are flavored like a famous melon from Ibaraki Prefecture in Japan. I love melon flavored candies. They are seriously some of my favorites. It does look high it, chew like. It looks like a high chew. It's packaged like a high chew. It wouldn't surprise me if high chew has competition in Japan because they are fantastic little candies. Dude, that is like a Double high chew. No, it's not. It's the exact size. No, it's not. High chews are thinner than that. Mm, I feel like that's the exact well, high size you of been high chew. No, high chews are thinner. High chews out of this packaging. Who buys high chews out of that? You get the big bag. No, man, I just need a little treat. <laughs> Bink. I licked it. Don't, gross. <laughs> mm. Tastes like an hour later. Yes. I was gonna say that in a good way. Mm. That it's is. too hard. I don't like that. I want my chewy candy to be chewy. It's exactly what it is. It's, it's not chewy. It's very chewy. You're like slowly kneading the dough. <laughs> Any chewier and you'd be looking at gum. Not even close. Yeah, close. No, you got gum over here. Freaking chewy over there. They're not as chewy over there. That's like the farthest to the right of chewy you can get. What would you call this then? Not chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, what would you call it for real? Chewy? No. Well, what are you doing? Are you chewying? I'm I'm trying to chew through this. Yeah, you're chewying. No. Chewy Why? means bouncy. This is like squish, squish. Give There's me. no rebound. I gotta use my jaw muscles to get my mouth back open again. Give when me. a chewy item should be pushing it, should be springing it. There should be little to no effort to reopen my mouth. Give me an example of something that's chewy. Freaking gummy bear. This! Not even close, bro! Why? You are wild! You eat gummy bear like two months old? What is this? Yeah! Why? <laughs> they're so much better when they're stale. Now we know why you like that dumb little crispy rice thing. Bro, do you taste that little like weird balls of like... You got balls in yours? <laughs> you don't have any in yours? Mine is ball free. What the hell? I've got loads of these in mine. I don't think mine has that. Maybe it does. I don't know. I haven't chewed through it yet. <laughs> you need to work on your jaw muscles, man. You see these mm. teeth? Found it. Yeah, uh, you got it. That surprised me. Like, came out of the. Would you say interesting? I would. Ah, they got ya! I would venture <laughs> to use that word as a descriptor for this non chewy treat. Very interesting candy. Chewy can be used as an adjective to mean a food needing to be chewed hard or for some time before being swallowed. Is that oh, Listen. Do you want to hear Chewy used in a sentence? No. You didn't help at all. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments what you think Chewy means. Mm -hmm. And if you're not already, come over, join us on our sweet new Discord. Yep. It's beautiful, it's fun, it's a giant chat room filled with friends. And debates. And <laughs> us. And there we can discuss what is chewy? All right, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to see us do more Japanese food, let us know down in the description. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Sayonara! Yo, by your definition, everything is chewy. No, some you are crispy. You put it in your mouth and you chew, therefore it is chewy. <laughs> no, some are crispy, some are crunchy. Some are chewy, some are... Oh. Well, this is, which is not chewy. This is totally chewy. What, what, what would you describe this as? There's not a word for it. Try it.